to me, everything happened slow motion. Here is something that sounds like a, some paper being balled up. Because we can do a CAT scan and that'll show us when the bones are all in the right place. And I'm looking at my knee, I'm like, okay, my knee good. So I look up. This is not an injury you're going to want to see, ladies and gentlemen. And I just see my foot turn the other way. Flag off, man. That's unfortunate. Wait, <laughs> nah. <laughs> I'm like, my foot, there's no way my foot is looking like this. This is what happens when you forget to wash the dishes. <laughs> Find what I want to rock today. Obviously, when I when I get there, I start with a lot of mobility things just to loosen up the the joints and um, get it going. Just gotta get it back used to doing this, uh, finding his ways to not be stiff when I get out of bed. The mental part of it is just telling yourself that um, you did it before and you can do it again or even better. So um, you just got to continue to to remind yourself, continue to keep good people around you with positive energy um, that that will help you along along the way. Um, like I say, another day to get better. And um, that's all I can ask for right now. Isaiah Cannon. I'm from Biloxi, Mississippi. Um, born and raised there in a little town at the very bottom of Mississippi, um, about an hour from New Orleans. I think I started playing basketball around the age of five or six. Uh, from that point on, um, my dream was to, to make it to the NBA one day. How are you feeling today? Uh, I'm good. I'm better. Uh, not too much. Yeah, not too much. I ended up throwing a draft party at my high school. I just remember just sitting there with everybody behind me watching the TV waiting for my name to be called. Um, it was nerve wracking because you didn't know. Um, and once you once you started getting close to kind of where they, the areas where they projecting you to go, um, it's just like, wow, my, my dream can come true from back when I was five and six at any moment now. So. Uh, everybody was on the edge of the seats, and uh, my name finally came came across the screen. Just it was it was, it was I, I had no words for it. For them to to to, to want to do that, to want to uh, make sure that I got the I'm in the best hands for my therapy. I appreciate everything that they're doing, and it, I don't take it for granted because I know it can be taken away like this, and they don't have to do that. They don't have to bring me in along with the team that's going through the season and carve out a slot for me to, to do my rehab so I can get back. And I've never went through something this uh, traumatic to where I have to, um, to I have to tell myself like, 
As much as you feel like you can go out there and do what you have to do, you just can't right now. All right. Two sets of 15 on the uh, tech. Shin tech, shin tech, shin tech. Knowing that mentally and, and, and inside my body, I want to be out there playing and helping as hard as I can. I want to be running. I want the physical contact. I want the, the, the shots. I want the assists. I want the team camaraderie. Uh, I want the timeouts. I want the whistle. Um, like, like, I want to be a part of that. I want to play so bad um, to knowing that physically that I can't right now. This is one of the little competitive games that I can I can play right now. I just try to be a still and challenge, challenge and push myself every every day to try to be better at it. Um, you just got to tell yourself, like, oh, you can't right now, really but you will be able to. Okay. So what can you do right now to get you to that point? We was playing the Mavericks. Um, it was another opportunity for us to take a step in the right direction for the team, and things was going well. Won a few games, and um, I know I came out, made a layup, made my first three. I'm like, okay, this, this is probably gonna be a, you know, you see the ball go through a couple of times. You, you like, okay, this is gonna be a be a good game. I had a bounce on my step, and then um, the 20 year vet able to knock it down. Cannon with a clear path on the drive and hammered a ball to the floor. And Isaiah Cannon is down. I just remember. Dirk was, was tried back. He ended up making a mistake and going out to one of the shooters and it opened up the lane for me. All I remember is, is jumping up, getting hit, and free falling. And I uh, try to regain my balance with my foot. And all I hear is something that sounds like a, some paper being balled up. Oh, oh no. man, oh boy, oh boy. Awkward landing, don't look. Feel funny. I, I knew I felt funny because it just hot the, the way I feel. So I grabbed my knee. And I'm looking at my knee. I'm like, okay, my knee good. So I look up and I just see my foot turned the other way. So I'm, I instantly just drop my leg like, I'm like, nah. <laughs> my foot, I'm like, my foot, there's no way my foot is looking like this. That is unfortunate. The way Cannon went down that time. Man. Dislocated foot, fractured fibula, uh, tore my ligament. First thing that I go back to is there's no possible way I put all this work in. I do all this to get to this point. Everything is going the way it's supposed to be going, just not to be able to play no more. And he's been a valuable player for the Suns this year. And you see the respect his teammates have for him, the entire bench coming over to try and encourage him. Since I've been in the NBA, I've never had had an injury like this or, or a break. And first time with metal in my <laughs> any parts of my body. When's the last time you got your ankle looked at? Like, uh, the doctor? Well, this is my first time seeing him in a month. So you ready? It oh, was wow. every two weeks, and now it's the first time in a month. So, um, hopefully, he got some good news. Crazy, the scars. Like... Yeah, I'm no, it's just like barely there. Just almost two and a half months now, right? January, February 1st. February 1st. And today's the 12th, so now it's right at two and a half months. You see both of your feet together out here. And down. Yeah. Maybe still a little bit off there. Yeah. And both feet towards each other. Okay, that's not bad. All right, let's just keep going another month. Keep doing what we're doing. Okay. I'll, I'll give Aaron a call and see. Just make sure we're all on the same page with where we're heading. We could only see, yeah, we could want. only see part of this half of your ankle on an MRI scan, even that thing up there might, but that's titanium, so that wouldn't interfere. So we wouldn't see anything on this half at all. It should be healed, it looks healed, but I can still see a line there, so, you know, just, just decide how fast we're going to go, okay? Cool. Sounds good to me. All right.
All right. Okay. Was that a crazy night for you? I was just, I just knew he was going to be so mad. That was the first thing. Because his pain tolerance is like pretty high. But I just knew he was going to be so pissed he couldn't play. I heard the crowd, I was like looking down at my phone and I heard the crowd and they were like, <gasps> and my friend, he like covered up my eyes. He was like, don't look. He was like, it's sip. And he was like, uh, he said it's like Gordon Hayward. So I was like, oh my God, his, I was thinking his bone was out of his leg and stuff. But man. To some people this may feel like this was the end of the world for him, but um, I really believe everything happens for a reason. And us as people don't really understand it or don't see it. Um, or it might not just be right there on a platter telling you what it is, but um, you have to believe, you have to have that faith. Worst fears realized. Tonight, entire towns have been wiped out around Gulfport, Mississippi. Ladies and gentlemen, this is not a test. There is a major hurricane. And I'm wondering how long these levees are going to hold on Lake Pontchartrain. I remember it like it was yesterday. Actually, I, me and my, me and my grandma, we was um, trying to decide if the whole family was gonna go north to the country where she's from. Um, the last second, we decided to um, stay, and she wanted to go around the corner to um, to the church. Um, I only brought like maybe a couple days worth of clothes, um, two pair of shoes, and my PlayStation. Um, thinking, okay, after the storm go by like normal, we'll go back to the house. So not knowing uh, Katrina was going to be one of the worst storms ever to, to hit the U.S. So I just remember laying down and um, just hearing a loud, loud noise and kind of woke everybody up. We was upstairs on the second floor of the church and we go, go downstairs to look and we just see all this water and the front door ripped open. We just see all this water rushing in, like, like somebody had just opened up a fire hydrant or something. It was just that much water rushing in the front door of the church. By this time, I'm freaking out, like, yo, what is going on? We go look outside the windows, and everything around us. It looked like it was just us in a, on a, like a boat or something. It was just us on a boat. We didn't know how long the water was going to keep rising. So uh, we ended up going in the attic of the church and sitting on the little plywood. Um, the frame, the frame of the church, which was like right up under the roof. So we were just sitting, sitting up there with a the radio, um, listening to trying to keep keep track of, of the weather. And I'm thinking like, yo, we may have to swim. Uh, my grandma didn't know how to swim. I started crying. I'm like, yo, how am I gonna make sure everybody get to safety? My grandma patted me on the back like, it's gonna be all right. God's got to do His work. Uh, you just gotta believe and, and keep the faith in Him. On, um, that everything's gonna be okay. So I believe the water ended up getting up to, getting all the way up to the second floor. It was like calf deep um, before it kind of leveled out and started to recede. Going through the hurricane showed me that um, you value life more than material. We get so much caught up in investing in material things more than the things that really matter. And it really things that really matter was I still have my family. Um, I still have my, my friends. I have all my close ones. I still have life. Um, I have the ability to, to be able to come in and work out. I have the ability to, to be able to come in and get my ankle back. I wasn't dying from it. Going through a hurricane is life or death. Going through an injury, you do the right things, you can, you can, you can be back or even be better. Some things you just, you just can't come back from. Right? This wasn't one of them, so I knew I'd be able to, to, to get back to being a, the player that I was.